Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's On The Social Show. This is the show where you take control and you send in your questions for me to answer. Uh, once again, loads of questions sent in this week. Um, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off with the Facebook questions. Uh, first of all, Eric Bolden. In order to stay up, who is West Ham's most important player to play well the remaining of this year? Keep up the great work, boys. Cheers, Eric. Um, important players. Um, listen, you've got to look at your big players like Anatovic, uh, Lanzini especially, uh, Hernandez, Antonio needs to step up a bit more, Noble. There's quite a few, but I think the most important player for me is probably our best player so far this season is uh, Marko Anatovic. Um, you know, we really need him to turn up every game and put in a performance. And, and of course, Lanzini as well. Um, let's quickly move on. Bobby Simpson. Do you think West Ham United would be in a different position now if Slav was still manager? Um, that's a good question. I mean, listen, personally, I don't see any difference between Slav and Moyes. I think Bilic would have kept us up. Uh, but look, it's all with from Bucks now. Uh, we've got David Moyes. And hopefully, he can get the boys firing for the last eight games, starting with uh, Southampton on Saturday. Uh, moving on to Bradley Flack. Place you would most like to go to an away game can be abroad. Uh, oh, there's loads of stadiums I love to visit as a West Ham fan. Um, you look at the big teams, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Uh, but I'd also like, you know, Celtic Rangers. You know, I'd love to see them. You know, maybe in the future, League Cup, being Scottish teams in the League Cup, you know, in a way day. You know, you've got Borussia Dortmund. There's some great, great clubs that I'd love to go to. But yeah, I'd probably say out of them, um, probably, the, probably Real Madrid, the Bernabeu. Uh, moving on, Tommy Scallon. If you owned the club and had money to spend, what would you change? Uh, probably my haircut would be one. But um, no, listen, if I was the owner of the club, it's, listen... Players get your results. Players move you up the league. So it'd have to be improve the squad, improve the team. Um, you know, and then everything else will work itself out. The stadium eventually will work itself out. But for me, it has to be the playing squad. Um, yeah, I mean, if I had the money, I'd obviously spend big. But listen, dreaming, dreaming. I'd love to own the club. <sighs> Not a chance. Um, moving on, Dan Smith. Who can you see being manager of West Ham next season? Personally, I would love Harry Redknapp back. Or do you think Moyes will have another season? I I fucking hope not. Um, listen, for me, I don't think David Moyes will be there next season. I think they've got someone else lined up. Uh, I think moving things going on at the club at the moment with director of football being linked, new scouting system. So it looks like someone's having an influence from outside. Um, I was at a QA and a last week with Noble and David Moyes and... He sort of swerved the question. So I think he knows he's not going to be here next season. Um, as for Harry Redknapp, definitely not. Um, I don't think I don't think he'll go down well with our fans. Uh, he was good at the time, but I think he's I think he's too old now and Redknapp being Redknapp, you know. Yeah, no, I don't think he'd ever be West Ham manager again. But yeah, hopefully someone new will come in next season. Moving on. Ben Watts. What would your lineup against South? What would be your lineup? Sorry, against Southampton and score predictions. Um, well, it depends on the injuries. I mean, Collins is out now, so personally, I mean, I'd play the back three of Rice, Ogbonna, and Creswell. Antonio right wing back, Masawaku left wing back. Probably check you out a noble in the middle. Um, yeah, and then if Lanzini's fit, there's rumours he's, he's not going to be fit for the game, which is a massive blow. But if he's fit, then Lanzini, Anatovic and Hernandez at top. Uh, as for a prediction, I think we'll win. I think it'll be tight. I'm going to go for I'm going to go for a three-two win. Moving on now, Philip Demicoli, who is your favourite pundit on TV? Uh, I like Gary Neville. I think he's decent. Um, I think. As for England games, Ian Wright, 100%. He's passion. He's, he's like a fan sitting in the studio. Um, I think there's some good pundits on TV. I like Graham Souness as well, honest. Um, I like Frank Lampard as well. I know that's not going to go down well with some people, but I think he actually took sense. Uh, 
And I think I think he'll actually make a good manager, Frank Lampard. But yeah, there's loads. But I'll, I'll probably go for Gary Neville on that one. Moving on, Stuart Neighbour. What would be a great title for this season's this season review DVD? Um, lies, lies, lies. Where's the money? Um, oh, I don't know. Well, if we stay up, it'll probably be not great escape. It'll be lucky escape. Uh, but yeah, depends on where we finish, really. I, I mean, there could be a few more titles, but I can't say them sort of words on here. So that's a good question. Now, moving on, David Black. Do you think with what is going on now, it's all smoke screen and mirrors, so the ball can buy the ground outright for a cut price? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me. But I'll be honest, I think we'll own that stadium within two seasons anyway. I think... Um, People that run it will just get fed up of not earning money out of it. All this going on at the moment with the um, court battles and that, I think they'll just end up saying to West Ham, go and take it, do what you want with it. Um, fingers crossed they do, because then we can start improving it proper. Um, moving on, Michael Hobley. If the board were to sell the club, what would the new owners need to do in terms of the stadium and match their experience? Um, listen, if they owned it, they'd have to knock it down, knock half of it down build it in more, uh, obviously improve the facilities outside the stadium, making it look more like West Ham. Um, yeah, statues of the legends, um, stall sellers. Uh, yeah, just to make it feel like home. But I think that's the main main thing would be to knock it down and turn it into an actual football stadium. Right, moving on now to Twitter. At Rob Bragg 1, is Mario Balotelli the answer to our problems? We need to strengthen other areas first. Yes, it's, uh, listen, I agree, we have to strengthen. But for me, I see this Balotelli rumour the other day. And do you know what? I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't mind him at West Ham. He's got a great goal-scoring record in France uh, for Nice. I think it's 39 in 59 games. Listen, he's a loose cannon. Uh, but sometimes you need someone like him on the pitch. Um, but he's the sort of player you want when you're at the top half of the table, not when you're in the relegation battle. So it'd be good to see Balotelli. But you're right, we do need to strengthen in other areas. Goalkeeper, for me, being the main one. Centre back, mid everywhere over the pitch, really. So, right, moving on. At West Ham, Josh V. Can you see another Payet situation if Lanzini performs well at the World Cup with Argentina? I have a horrible sense of deja vu in that this could happen. Um, yeah, listen. If listen, if 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 your good players go on to a tournament and have a great tournament, they're in front of the world. So other teams are gonna sit up and watch them. Listen, Lanzini is a great player. Uh, he scored the other night for Argentina, so but he needs to start performing for West Ham. Listen, Payet, we don't know what went on in that situation. You know, it's behind the scenes. There was things that went on. So but I hope not. I hope if Lanzini has a great World Cup, he obviously puts our name on the map like Payet did in the Euros. Um, so yeah, let's hope that don't happen. Uh, moving on at Malcolm Brown fifty three. If we get a director of football, will he dictate style of play? transfers etc with manager answerable to him listen if we get a director of football which i think is a great idea someone to come in run the club on a day-to-day -day basis have dealings with transfers listen when it comes to the manager and picking the team that's down to the manager at the end of the day but i'd like to obviously the manager whoever it is whether it's Moyes or someone else has got to have a great relationship with a director of football because we've seen it over the years where director of football start running the club and it don't work out um but yeah you'd like you like to think that we'd bring someone in who's going to have an eye for great players. And obviously David Sullivan takes a step back and has nothing to do with running the club. He just owns it, unfortunately. Um, right, moving on. At the Sullis, Indian or Chinese? Listen, I love a ruby, don't get me wrong. But for me, I, I'll have to go Chinese on that one. I do, lo I do love a Chinese. Um, but listen, Indian... Indian's great as well, but nah, for me, Chinese all day long. Um, right, moving on. At Barry underscore betting. Do you think Javier Hernandez is unhappy at West Ham? And do you think he will still be here next season and perform better if we bring in a new manager? If so, who would do the job best for you? Listen, I, f I can understand Hernandez being frustrated at West Ham. When he gets a little run in the team, he scores and then he finds himself back on the bench. For me, he's got to play every week now, every week, because he will score goals, and some of his goals will be vital. You know, they could be match winners and get us the points. Um, 
Who would I bring in as a new manager? Second part to that question. Uh, I've seen where he was linked with Pellegrini the other day. I think he'd be a good choice. Obviously, you've got Mancini out there. Uh, Eddie Howe. Um, you've got the uh, Wagner, is it, at Huddersfield. There's some great managers out there. Um, but I, I, the Pellegrini one excites me a bit because um, I think he was hard done by at Man City. It was only that Guardiola come on the market that they had to make that decision to get him. Uh, but he won the league with uh, City, obviously. So... No, I think that'd be a great shout. Um, moving on now. At WHUFC Boys of 86, do you think fans that intend to go to the game with negativity should stay away also? Uh, I take it they mean Southampton game. Um, listen, people have got rights to protest and march and, and do what they want, but we can't have scenes like we did against Burnley. You can't have people running on the pitch. Um, but I understand people's frustrations. So I don't think that they should stay away from the game because obviously they're there to support the team. Um, but yeah, we can't have scenes like we did against Burnley. Uh, moving on, at London Yeti, I feel very disappointed to hear the lies being spouted by Sadiq Khan and others who were not there for the Burnley game. What's your take on it all, Brian? Listen, I've got to be careful what I say about Sadiq Khan because as you know, there's a, a group that... Uh, work with Sadiq Khan or West Ham fans. So, but my opinion on Sadiq Khan is for him to come out and call these people scum and hooligans um, is wrong. It's not right. And I think Sadiq Khan personally should be worrying more about running London um, than worrying about what's going on at West Ham because for me, murders, rapes, shooting, stabbings are all up under Sadiq Khan and I think eight eight stabbings have happened in the last week while he's been worrying about West Ham. So my message to Sadiq Khan is just worry about what you've got to do as a job and stop worrying about West Ham. Uh, moving on now, at Journo Dan B. If you could only keep one in the summer, who would you rather keep? Lanzini or Anatovic? Oh, for me, listen, I, I, I've... I've loved Lanzini since he first joined the club. I think he's got so much potential. Uh, but Naovic, he's, he's been a great player for us since Moyes has come in. Um, for me, if you are to ask, you had gun to my head now and said, I'd keep Lanzini. Uh, but I'd, listen, Naovic, there's nothing against you, mate. I, I love you. I think you're great. Um, right, moving on. At Stevie Ray Punk, if Moyes keeps us up, do you think he should be given a proper contract at the end of the season? Uh, for me, no. I, I think that if we stay up, Moyes has done a great job. He should take his bonus and go. Um, I just think that we need someone else in um, just to take over now. Someone with a bit more, a bit more experience. Not so a bit more experience because obviously Moyes has been around, but we need sort of like a winner. We need someone who's going to bring in his own backroom staff and he's going to change the club and hopefully, you know, as we said, director of football work with him. And we need a sort of manager that can attract big name players. I'm not saying big name players like Messi, Ronaldo. I'm talking the good players that can come into West Ham, like you know, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I don't think Moisey will be there, and I think his body language knows he's not going to be there as well. But if he keeps us up, listen, he's done a great job. Uh, moving on now, at Ty Tommy, because of our goalkeeping problems, do you think it's time to question the? the goalkeeping coach, Chris Woods. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a funny one, Chris Woods, because you don't really see much of him. Um, as you know, Joe Hart and Adrian have not been having a great season. Um, they make mistake after mistake. Whether that comes down to Chris Woods' training or whether it just comes down to the defence that's put in front of them. Um, but I think if Moisey goes, I can see uh, Chris Woods leaving as well. Whoever comes in will bring in their own backroom staff and... But, yeah, I see you don't really see much of Chris Woods. Um, right, moving on. At GH90WHU, what do you think about having a director of football? Rumours of the Wheeler Dealer Twitch coming back. How true is this? Obviously, it means Harry Redknapp. Um, I don't think Harry Redknapp will be a director of football at West Ham. Um, but I like the idea of the director of football. I like the idea of someone else having a day-to-day -day running a club, transfers, dealing with a manager instead of David Sullivan. Uh Whoever this director of football is, please, please, please do not get a Twitter account and start telling everyone everything over Twitter because we need to come off social media as a club. Um, moving on, at Jamie underscore Jill. 
Do we need to bring in a big name striker to replace Chikorito, or do we need to bring in a new manager that can actually use him properly? Um, I think we need to bring in a, a new manager to use him properly, but I think we also need to bring in a striker that can play with him. Because Hernandez is a great player. He will score goals. He's proved that when he started. It's just under Moyes. There's obviously a bit of history there between them two. Um, but listen, Hernandez, every time he plays, he comes on. He gives it all. Uh, and I think we definitely need him for these last eight games of the season. Uh, moving on now. At Alf Gaspararo. Uh, it has been suggested that a fan's representative should have a place on the board, whether that is even possible. But how would you choose which fan to be on there? Or should it not be a fan at all, but instead an ex-player or something? Uh, for me, I mean, listen, we know people that want to, uh, that met David Sullivan the other day, uh, Woosa, and they mentioned this. I mean, I think it's a ridiculous idea. Um, but not, not it's ridiculous having a fan representing the fans, but whoever goes on, they're not, well, not going to have a say. They're always going to get outvoted. Um, I don't think it's, like you said, who would you put on there? You know, there's hundreds of thousands of people that are, as I know we sit in front of a camera and do the YouTube channel, but there's fans out there that are passionate like me. And, you know, I'm lucky enough to be going in front of these meetings, but I wouldn't say I was good enough to go and sit on the board. That's a that's a tough thing to do. And, um, no, nah, the ex-player one, yeah, it could be a good idea. Someone, I don't know, Tony Cotty, um, It'd be decent, but I can't see that happening because whoever goes on there just get outvoted anyway because you've got three people against you straight away. So, um, moving on at Collinson underscore Bob, if you had to point the finger of blame this season, what or who has made it such a bad season? The players' performances, the balls running the club, the managers' tactics, and team selections, or have all of them played a part? The end of that question is bang on. Every single person in that club from top to bottom. I bet even the tea lady's been dodgy. You know, um, the players have underperformed. The manager's tactics, the boards, where do we start with that? But everyone's to blame for this season. Um, There's just not been enough consistency with anything at the club this season. And listen, we, if we scrape through this season and survive, then next season there has to be players out, manager out, new players coming in, new manager, director of football. It's going to have to be massive changes in the summer. I think... This could be the biggest summer in West Ham's history going forward. Uh, but that's a good question. I like that. Um, so that's it for the questions this week. Thank you so much once again for sending in your questions. Look, if I've missed you out, it's nothing personal. We just get so many questions. Um, but look, as always, give me your comments below on your answers to these questions. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me. Um, don't forget, keep subscribing to the channel. Uh, Dan's told me to say hit the notification bell as well because I keep forgetting to say that. So every time we post a video, it'll come up in your feed. So you never miss us. Um, Scott's got his big match preview coming out this week. Dan will have West Ham week. It's a massive game this week for West Ham. Uh, as always, we'll be there. Hopefully we'll have happy fan cams this week. But yeah, look, I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, I'll leave that there. I'm Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV. Thank you so much for watching this show. Come on, you irons.